Good morning. Thought for the week. I was reminded this week um, that many years ago I was trying to get to the funeral of a man who had really influenced my life and Sheila's life really by his teaching and his love for Jesus. And uh, his name was Nigel Lee. And I never made the funeral. I didn't get the date that was sent to me. It was the wrong date. And uh, I found that hard, I must admit. But years later, I heard the story that um, Nigel was a very close friend of, Nig- of uh, John Lennox. And John Lennox um, went to see Nigel just before he passed away. And uh, he said to Nigel, what do you want me to share at your funeral? Uh, and Nigel said, to share what we've always shared. Say to them, tell them to soak themselves so much in scripture until they see the face of Christ. And that's been with me. Uh, These last 24 hours has been thinking about that and just reflecting. And I think as I've grown older, I think the truth of it is that it is all about Jesus. We can sing that as a song, but to know that in your life, that experience of understanding that Jesus is at the center of everything. We think for salvation, we gain a home in heaven, justified, atoned for, and reconciled to God. And those are true. And actually it's Christ that purchased those for us. But the gospel is Jesus. The good news is that we get Jesus, the son, our elder brother, the bridegroom. Just think of it. I just want to challenge me today and you today to get so into a story of Jesus. We've been doing Matthew's gospel. One story. Just think about it. And grasp the fact that he is your king. He is your great high priest who has paid and rescued you by his own blood and sits now in heaven interceding for you. He's your advocate. He's your elder brother. And you and I live, can I put it this way? Someone has put it in a book beautifully. We live in his slipstream. We live in his slipstream of all he has done. He is the one who is the good shepherd yes he's the one who's who truly is our elder brother the good news is we get Jesus that is the gospel actually the verse and you know, Paul puts it like this that I may know him I, everything I count loss for the sake of knowing Jesus knowing him or put put it another way that Jesus prays this prayer this is eternal life that they may know you and the one you sent. So yeah, I'm going to end with a song. I'll leave it for you to listen to. Yeah, When the music fades, all is stripped away and I simply come. It's all about you, Jesus. Take some time with him today. Every blessing.